You're fired. Did you hear me, O'Donnell? You're fired. Get out. No, I... No. I've done so much for you. <laughs> I don't remember hiring a jester. Should we go through your botched or downright neglected projects alphabetically or chronologically? That's what I thought. You're not good enough. You never will be. Now get your degenerate self out of my office before I have you thrown out. You can't do this. <laughs> what are you, insane? I own all of this. And up until five seconds ago, I owned you. Sherry, yes, call security. Tell them there's a bug in my office that won't leave. Yes, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Does it look like I care? Out! Out! Keys. Yeah, they are. This is no longer your car. Keys. Keys now. Time to go. Yeah, right after you. Time for you to go. Beat it.
Hey, can I help you? Um, yeah, can I just get a soda? Yeah, sure thing. Sit anywhere you'd like. Is everything okay? Matt. Huh? Oh, sorry. Here, let, let me get this. Are you ever gonna tell me what actually happened to you? Uh, like I said, nothing. I just had a rough day. Yeah, but I tried calling you. Where were you? I just stopped somewhere on my way home from work. I just didn't feel like talking. I called to tell you something. Matt, where were you? I just stopped to get a drink. You stopped to get a drink? Yeah, I had a lot on my mind. Then tell me. Honestly, why is it so difficult with you? I'm being difficult? Yeah. Talking to you is like it, it, pulling words out of your mouth, Matt. You want a word? I want a word. It's fired. I was fired. Are you happy now? Again? Oh, here we go. What was it this time? Why is it always my fault? I mean, four jobs in two years, Matt. And what about the replacement wedding ring? What? Did you forget about that, too? Don't you think this is all a little unstable? You're calling me unstable now? That's not what I said. Matt. You're saying I should That's go see a shrink? I Look, I work really hard to make sure that we have a life. I go out there and bust my butt every day and get absolutely no respect from, from everyone. And I just thought that maybe at the end of the day, I'd get a little respect from you. And I... I'm not even hungry. We're in this together, you know. <sighs> Cheryl, I just... No, and how am I supposed to help you if you won't let me? Why would you need to help me? I don't need it. You'll need my help someday. Cheryl, I... No. When were you going to tell me? I tried. 
didn't try very hard. How long have you known? I found out this morning. I tried calling you. Why didn't you tell me when I got home? I wanted it to be special. I thought maybe... You thought what? You thought I wouldn't get fired? This has nothing to do with that. This has everything to do with that. If I can't hold down a job, then how am I supposed to be a good father? I... We talked about this, remember? You're going to be a great dad. What if I don't want to be? I mean, I didn't ask for this. It's kind of implied, isn't it? We, we discussed this. So, so it's a surprise? I mean, honestly, I, I, thought, I thought you'd be happy. I thought, I mean... Happy? I just got fired. How am I supposed to raise a child with no income? I'm sure you'll find another job. But for how long, huh? See, even you don't believe in me. Of course I do. Why? Why would you? How could you? I mean, you're the one who said it. I need help. I'm unstable. It's not what I said. Haven't you meant it? How could you do this to me? To you? You do know how this works, don't you? I can't do this. I can't raise a family. You can argue all you want. But like it or not, this is your life and one you agreed to when you married me. And what if I don't want that anymore? Nothing. You don't want it? You don't want this anymore? You don't want us? I don't know what I want anymore. Good night, Matt. That, I, that's not what I... I said good night. I'll be right with you. <sighs> uh, here. Of all places you chose here. What is going on? Dad? He could have picked Venice, Paris, even Sydney, for goodness sakes. No. Chief, what kind of food did you order us? No, 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 no. This, this can't be happening. This can't be real. This can't... Wait, 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 wait. Is it a medium rare porterhouse smothered in mushrooms and bacon with a side of green beans? No. It's a half charred previously frozen slab of pork feces. Dad, I'm, I'm serious. I'm not getting any deader, son. The least you could have done is give me a decent meal. But to be clear, you are dead. Like there's, it can't be real. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. I cannot believe you're still like this. I. What'd you expect? Not like I could have changed. But it's all in my head. You're in my head, so I don't, it does, I don't understand how, you, how. Keep it up, I'll do it again. Okay, but how did you, if you're all, okay, all right, stop. Told you. No, this, this has to be like a bad dream. Yeah, I just, it's just stress. 
I just need to wake up. Need some help? No. Not from you. Yeah? This ain't half bad. Would have preferred some caviar and wine. Come on. This ain't bad. Wake up. Come on. Here, let me help. No, just... <sighs> I'm supposed to just, uh, like a psychotic break. I'm having a nervous breakdown. I... Now the whole life comes crashing down and then you show up? So I mean, like, that can't be a coincidence. Tell me about that. About what? Your life. How are the kids? How's the wife? Why'd you get fired? I don't have kids. Not yet. Are you kidding me right now? I mean, look, everyone, the, the figment of my imagination wants to know all the nitty-gritty details about my life. Why do I need to explain anything to you if you're already in my head? Am I? How should I know? I don't know what's happening. I, just yesterday, I was getting fired from my job for absolutely no reason, and then I find out my wife is pregnant, and then you transport me out of reality? So I... That is some of the best nutshelling I have ever heard. Though the part about no reason, that's a little bit of a stretch. So you do know what's going on. What, why are you pretending? The real question is, why are you? Look, don't you ever think that maybe there's another reason why you're here? Like what? Maybe it's time you faced some cold, hard reality. So, have you decided what you want yet? Would you like me to come back? I'll come back. I don't know. I haven't seen him all day. He kind of just left, Kenny. Yeah, I mean, we kind of got into it last night. And that was kind of harsh, I guess. But I, he was just being so stubborn and mean. Should have heard the things he was saying. If you hear anything, just let me know, okay? I haven't heard from him. I'm getting kind of worried. Back so soon? More coffee, please. Black.
Amen. This again? Are you gonna tell me what's going on? We wipe the grin off your face and answer me? Why are you so angry? I'm not angry. <laughs> I've seen less anger out of a grounded teenager. What's that supposed to mean? What would you even know about grounding a teenager? You weren't around then. Don't you remember anything? I'm here to help you. <laughs> help me? You think after all these years, I would want your help? If there was even a way you could? I don't need your help, or anyone else's for that matter. Clearly. Look, I don't need you, and quite frankly, I don't want you here. So if you don't mind, I'm just gonna go back to reality so that I find the off switch. And reality? Else. You know, funny you should mention that. What reality are you living in, Matt? The one in here? Or the one out there? The real one, you idiot! The one that contains my actual real life! You sure about that? Why do I even bother arguing with a ghost? Let alone your ghost. This isn't real life. It's life is out there in the real world. Exactly. You're insane. Wait, me or you? This isn't real. You're not real. You're, you're dead. Yes, I am. You need to face that. What are you talking about? I have faced that. I went to your funeral, held mom as she cried, though. God knows why. But you didn't. You would have liked that, wouldn't you? Would you have even cared? Have you ever cared about me? Always. <sighs> of course, so leaving is caring. In a way. You know, you know what, I, I was glad. I was glad to see you go. Glad to see that you got what was coming to you. Mom may have been crying, but I could not have been more satisfied. You happy now? Wouldn't go that far. You're the reason my life was hell. And I'm supposed to think it was because you care? Screw you. Matt. No, that's it, I am, I'm done with you. How do I get out of this nightmare? You'll never be free unless you free yourself. Oh, thank you both for coming. Anything for you. Yeah. Have a seat. Um, I'm so sorry. It, it was just cleaned up. I, I swear. Uh, I'm apologize. It's just been a crazy couple hours. I uh, love you. Oh, Martin, have a seat. You hear anything from him yet? No, not yet. Better call soon. What was that? Do you think he'll call soon? Um, honestly, I don't know. The things he said to me. I mean, I know he didn't mean them, but. Still. I'll never find out where you went. No, please don't. As crazy as it sounds, I, I still don't want anything bad to happen to him. I just, I just want him home. As you should. Where's your restroom? It's down the hall, to the left. You know as well as I do that if you truly value me, you wouldn't put you in this position. I guess. Don't just guess. Look, I have enough of this dead well, Regardless of what you say, he's still my husband. You know, maybe he's going through a rough patch right now, sure. I'm not just gonna walk out. No. Oh, like he's doing right now? Don't start. You don't understand. I need him home. We need him home. We? Nah, I'm here. Not you. We. 
You're pregnant? You're what? Excuse me. Yeah. Is anyone sitting here? No. Perfect. But... Thank you. I don't mean to be rude, but why? Sorry, is... I'm Julia. Right. Why are you sitting here? The seat was available. Okay. Yes, I, I get that. I. I, you know. I saw you and I are staying at the same motel. Are you gonna tell me your name? I stay there just for a night. Excellent. Me too. No, no, like last night. Yeah, me too. That's what I said. What do you want? What do I want? What do any of us want? I just got fired by my jerk boss after 10 years of working for him and all over me being 20 minutes late. 20 minutes. And this only two weeks after my fiance left me for a hooker. Oh, and to top it off, my phone died. Just broke and I can't make a single call. So, what do I want? I want someone to talk to. Hmm. So, what's your name? I'd, I'd really rather just be left alone. Nonsense. No one truly wants to be left alone. Well, I do. I like a man who knows what he wants. So what's your story? I, I came here for a cup of coffee, okay? Clearly. How many cups have you had? Too much. One of those days, huh? I've had too many of those to count. What do you say you do? I didn't, but I'm a travel photographer. Well, I was. Matt. My name is Matt. Hi, Matt. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, they sent me out to Utah for a stint, and the scenery there is absolutely gorgeous. All of the colors and even the size of the rock I can't believe you let me talk your ear off that entire time. You must think I'm a crazy person or something. Well, maybe at first. I should be going, okay? Matt? If you decide to stay another night, I'm in room 112 if you want to talk. Maybe you'll get around to telling me your story. You look like crap. Why are you here? 
And I could ask you the same thing. What could you possibly want from me? Don't you get tired of asking questions? See, that's funny, because it's a question. Ah, uh, I caught that. You always did love the eye roll. Always? Since when? When have you been around long enough to even crack a joke? Huh? Was it the graduation dinner that you missed? Or maybe the wedding reception that you weren't there for? Look, this is not about me. Oh, of course not. I mean, why would we talk about you? It was just you who ruined my life. Looks like you don't need my help in that area. This? Look, all of this is because of you. I failed to see how. What? I, everything has been about you since, since day one. You want to point fingers? Let's point fingers. When has this not been about you? What about when you left your family? You want to talk about that? Oh, what about pretty woman making goo-goo eyes with all day? Let's talk about that. I can't do this with you right now. You didn't care what Cheryl or your new child thought? I did what I had to do. What you thought was right. Exactly. You're beginning to understand. I am not you. I'm never going to hurt my kid. This won't. You're not real. God, you're dead. I don't need you. You're right. You don't need me. You need them. Just leave me alone. I just want to come back. Don't be like me. Leave me alone. I don't know. I just, I really thought he would have called by now. Doesn't he care? Hey, can I ask you a question? Sure. Why don't we ever... Don't do that. We had a good thing going once. Is that why you invited me over here? What are you looking for, Cheryl? What do you mean? Your husband left. Sucks. But have you dealt with that yet? He'll come back. And if he doesn't, what are you gonna do then? You can't rely on him anymore. You've got to rely on yourself. I'm trying to. He's just asking me a simple question. It wasn't, though. And you know that. You can't ask me that question the day after your husband walks out on you. What kind of man would I be if I entertained that thought, huh? I know we've been friends since we were kids, but I'm married now, and I'm happy. Not leaving sucks. It does. But you're relying on someone to give you something you may not have yourself. And what's that? Do you love yourself, Cheryl? Even if he told you he loved you every single day, if you never fully loved yourself, how can you ever truly be happy? What do you know about that? You know, you and I are here. You're this perfect couple, and to be honest with you, I'm I kind of envy it myself. So how could you possibly know what I'm going through? I don't. I'm only telling you what I see. Well, maybe you can't see everything. Cheryl. You know, maybe you should go. Cheryl. Cheryl. Amaya's probably waiting for you. What do you expect me to do? What you've always done. The best you can to survive. Rise and shine! <laughs> <sighs>
<laughs> what was that for? <laughs> I am so glad that someone is having a good time. <laughs> you should have seen your face. <laughs> I told you to leave me alone. How oh, come on. Lighten up. You used to love that kind of thing. Whatever happened to the little boy that used to love pranks? You wanna know what happened? You happened. You left. And I had to grow up because you wouldn't. You don't remember, do you? Remember what? Have a seat, Matt. I prefer to stand, thanks. I know you remember your mother and I fighting almost every day. Yeah, how could I forget? It wasn't an easy choice. It never is. I know you don't believe me, but everything I did was for you. Oh, oh, it enlighten me. How is you leaving good? How is that good for us? Not for both of you. Just you. How? Come on. Fighting all the time, the daily scream sessions. That was no way for a kid to grow up. So you left? Again, this is not about me, okay? What's done is done. My regrets are mine alone. I only want you to see. Oh, I see. I see, thank you very much. I see a man desperate to explain away everything that he did, to explain all the hurt that he caused his family. And you, you expect me to just believe that you leaving was the best for me. And what would you have done if I'd stayed, huh? You think if I was there, things would have been different? You think things would have gone so swimmingly? We'd have played catch every day or something, right? Look, that stuff was not my responsibility. My responsibility- Not your responsibility. Your own flesh and blood was your responsibility? If I wasn't, then what was? I did you're trying to explain- it. No, you are worse than I thought. How can you leave your family and say they're not your responsibility? Oh, no, 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 I, I see where this is going, and I am, I am not you. I am nothing like you, old man. Nothing. Are you sure? I haven't left yet. I can go back whenever I want. Then do it. If you can go back, do it. Put an end to this charade. Go back and be the responsible father and husband. So I'm just supposed to do whatever you didn't simply because you didn't? Well, yes. <laughs> you had your chance and she blew it. So don't blow yours. I don't need you telling me what to do. You're not my father. You never were. I was your son, staying at home, wishing and hoping you would come home every day. I just, I always imagined you were on a trip, out of exploring somewhere. I thought you were like climbing Mount Everest, trekking through the jungles of the Amazon, just trying to discover something that no one ever had. I was so wrong. I mean, did I make him leave? Did I do something? Was, was it my fault? Did he not love me anymore? It didn't matter that 
I still had mom. I, I was just so alone. And then everything changed. I had to grow up without a father. I knew that. And I hated you for it. So you asked where your son went. You killed him. And I never forgave you for it. Just, just leave. It's not very impressive, is it? It's a start. I hate this. For what it's worth, I'm proud of you. Thanks. I just don't think that a hiring manager would be proud of me like you would. No, but you care that I am, don't you? It helps. And confidence is key when you go to interview. This will set you apart from the rest, trust me. Most managers can smell confidence before you even walk into the room. I don't want to do this. But you can. Trust me. All it takes is a belief that you're more capable than anyone else. Is that all? Of course. I don't care if you haven't done much of the work. Just that you believe wholeheartedly you can and will work hard to do it. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. Uh, how are you? Good, how are you? How are you holding up? Difficult to say. What's in the bags? As soon as I heard about our little god baby, your god baby? I had to make sure the peanut was taken care of. There's everything in here. Uh, clothes, wipes, gift cards for diapers, formula, everything you need to get started. Hey, um, I don't know what to say. I don't say anything. Just had to make sure our little god baby was taken care of, didn't we? Thank you both. It was all her idea. Of course it was. You think he would have done all this? Now, come on, let me show you what you got. Yeah, this one first. Morning. Where are you headed? Another cup of coffee, I assume? Mind if I join you? You wouldn't take no for an answer, would you? <laughs> you know me so well. Have a good night. Look, Julia, I can't... We're both adults here. You don't have to say anything. I know you're married. But, like I said, I'm just looking for someone to talk to. I, I can do that. Good. Anyways, you'll never guess what happened to me. And this is all after I tell him to stuff it, mind you. He keeps going on about how I owe him for all of the chances he gave me, and... Clearly. Clearly. Do you guys know what you want? Just, uh, just coffee for me, thanks. I'll take some pancakes. Anyways, he fires me, and then he threatens to sue me if I don't give him what he wants. I mean, the nerve. Yeah, yeah. So, when are you gonna tell me? Huh? Why you're here. I'm here because I wanted some coffee. You just don't quit, do you? <sighs> of 
or do you? What did you quit? Look, I'd, I'd rather not talk about it. I don't get you, Matt. Didn't know there was something to get. You left your wife, didn't you? I knew something was up. What happened? Did she beat you? I said I'd rather not talk about it. Did she spend all your, thank you. Did she spend all your hard-earned dough? <sighs> Julia? Did she have an affair? Julia? Did you? I said let it go! Look, I'm, look, I'm sorry, Julia, I'm sorry. Enjoy the pancake. Julia! For the record, I don't care about your past. I just don't tolerate dishonesty. But, for whatever reason, I just can't seem to get away from you. Offer still stands if you decide to be honest with me. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Miss me? <sighs> Go away. I still say this place is rather nice. Shut up, Dad. Dad, huh? Moving up in the world. What do you want? Who's the girl? I thought you were omniscient or something. No, just annoying. Say that again. You want me to? No. What is this? Why, why do we keep doing this? Don't you know? Why is there a runaround with you? Just answer the question. <sighs> I know what you're thinking. Of course you do. Don't do it. Don't do what? You know exactly what I'm talking about. She's not worth it. Who? Who? He asks who? The girl you were making goo-goo eyes at? The girl who just took your crap and still gave you a kiss? I'm not That's making goo-goo eyes at anyone. Would you just leave me alone? I thought I did. I meant permanently. Oh. Well, if I thought you meant that. I... Please leave. Please? And they said you'd never amount to anything. What? Would you stop? Look, I don't want you here. Leave me alone. I mean it this time. You're gonna make a mistake if you go through with it. It's not worth it. What would you know? A lot more than you. You'll see. You're gonna need me soon, and I won't be there. What are you talking about? If you want to find me, I'll be at home. Rest. What? Hi. I've got an interview. Seems promising. If I get it, that means we won't have to worry about... Are you coming home? Like it's just you and me. Wouldn't be so bad if it was, would it? After all, I did well enough before I met him. I just feel so alone.
but I wouldn't be alone, would I? As long as we have each other, we'll never be alone. Just you and me. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I think I know. I th think I... I don't know. Do you want to talk about it? Okay, let me get some clothes on. Goodbye, Julia. Where are you going? Are you all right? No. 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 Uh, no! I gotta get in there. I've gotta talk to him. You're here somewhere. Why aren't you here? I need you. I need 
Leave me alone! Get away from me! <laughs> I figured that you'd be there all the other times. But not when I actually need you. There, I said it. Are you happy now? I said it. That make you want to come talk, you twisted excuse of a father. I'm here. Where, where are you? Oh, I mean, we'll be at home. My home? I'm, I can't go back there. I'm not. I'll find, I'll find you at home. I'll find you at home. Hi again. Um... I'm headed to the doctor for my first ultrasound today, and still would love for you to be there. I sent you the address yesterday, so if you can make it, please let me know. Listen, I don't want to do this over voicemail, but if I don't see you, I don't think this can continue. Don't expect a call back if I don't see you. Goodbye, Matt. I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I just, Julia? Matt? I just need to, hey, Julia, wait, Julia! What, what could you possibly want from me right now? I cannot believe what you did to me last night. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. After everything I shared with you, I have never been treated so horribly in my life. Maybe it's not your wife's fault in all of this, is it? What do you have to say for yourself? Julia, I need your help. Okay, I need your help. Should have thought of that last night. No, I... I need your help finding my dad. Need to yell at him too? Something like that. I don't know. Get in. But don't expect me to like this. Okay. Thank you. about yesterday. What about it? For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Fine. Maybe you can make it up to me? I don't think so.
this the place? Yeah, this is the place. Thanks. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you think you're doing? Uh, Can I help you with something? You're right, I'm, I'm sorry, I apologize. I shouldn't have tried to barge in like that. Um, my, my name is Matt O'Donnell. I, I used to live here when I was a kid. Okay, and? Um, this will go to sound weird, but do you mind letting me in just for a second? I, I'm looking for someone. I'm the only one in here. But I'm, I'm looking for some, I'm looking for something. It's, I'm looking for something. It's something I lost when I was a, a kid. Please. All right, but just for one minute. <sighs> okay, I'm I'm here. Where are you? Come on out. I'm here. Where are you? Come on, where are you? I'm here. All right, it's time to go. Push. Come on. I just need to form a No, no. It, Come on, Dad, please. It is time for you I'm to here. go. I'm here, I came. I get out. I, I don't understand. You're at home, resting. Resting. Did you find it? No, but I, I, I think I know where to go. I have an appointment, Cheryl O'Donnell. Okay, uh, just have a seat over there. He'll be with you shortly. Thanks. Are you sure this is the place? No, but it's the best chance I've got. I don't see anyone. Uh, yeah, I doubt you will. Are you going to tell me what's going on? No.
Oh, if you could see me now, man. Oh, the things I could say. Took you long enough. For the record, I'm still angry with you. Wouldn't expect any less. Have you started to see? To see what? Um, like you? Similar, yes. No. I think that's the most pathetic lie I've ever heard. I can't believe you. I come all this way and you're still on my case. You can't deny what you know to be true. And what if it is? What does that change? Everything. I knew a man once, good guy, strong sense of purpose. He was a musician, very talented. He could play music that would, oh, melt your heart. They always said he could make one piano sound like 20. Such a gift. What does this have to do with anything? But one day, his father comes to one of his concerts, having never gone before. After the show, his father came up to him, so he taught at a conservatory. Told him he was no good, had no future in music. Devastated the poor man. He never played music after that. Such a waste of God-given talent. He never overcame that fundamental flaw. He never measured up. It was always lesser than, not good enough failure. It defined him, controlled his life, up until the point where he left his own family because of it. He took his flaws to the grave. But years later, when his son seemed to be going in those same footsteps, he was given a chance, a chance to make things right. So you're... I'm here. Right here. But that's... Seemingly impossible. I've learned not to question. My chances have come and gone. And I alone have to own up to that. still have a chance. It's not over for you. But if you be believe that, then why did you leave? You focused so hard on not becoming me. That's exactly what you became. I know the feeling so well. I'm the spitting image of my father. I hated myself for it. Hated who I was. I took a long look at myself and realized I did not want that for you. So I left. I just wanted you to be better. I wasn't. I just wanted you to come home. I, I just wanted you, waited for you to walk through the door and tell me you love me, that you wanted me. I, I needed you. And I messed up. Doing what I believed to be right, I made the biggest mistake of my life. Don't you do the same thing? I'm not you. No. You're much better. So be better. Look, I don't have much more time. You're leaving? Again? 
for now. I think you know what you need to do. There's not much more I can do to get you there. Do what I never could. Be there for them. You need each other. Nothing else matters. Where are you going? No. I'll Come be on, don't you, go. Matt. Please don't go anywhere. Come. Let's get to the doctor's office. Is Hurry. Everything all right? No, I'm about to miss my wife's first ultrasound. Let's go. Now. No, I know, yes, I know, I know, I know. Just, just listen. Look, I'm, I'm at the doctor's office and I think I just missed them at the ultrasound. I don't have a car, can you please pick me up? No, I know, I understand. I have no right to ask this of you. I just, can you please help me get home? You can call me names later, okay? I, just help me get back to my wife. Thank you, thank you. I got some explaining to do. Hi. I was really, really scared. I just didn't know if I could do it. Uh, becoming a father, that is. Not after everything that happened with mine. And this week has been a lot, and I don't even know how to explain it, honestly. But I think I finally learned how to let go. And that just because he made a mistake that doesn't mean that I will. So I may not be a great father, but I really, really want to try, if you'll let me. I thought I'd never see you again. I know. I know. And I'm so sorry. But I'm here now, and I promise you better. And I'm so sorry that I missed your ultrasound. We're are you, are, is everything okay? Are you? See for yourself. <laughs> She's beautiful. She? I mean, I can dream, can't I? 